Hi, it's your boy, Big Rich. Good evening. Buena Sera, how you doing? Live from New York, Queens. After a long day of work in the streets, you heard? In the streets. A mom's story. Salute to my boy, Shattered. Sending me articles. Michael S., I see it was popping. Salute to all the new subscribers. Everybody leaving comments. Keep leaving those fucking comments. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. Let's get right into business. Now, you know, we talked about this guy before. Rocco Morabito, the Italian fucking cocaine king of Brazil. Big guy, big guy with the drangheta. You understand what I'm saying? So let's get right into the article. Interpol detains Russians suspected of supporting Italian drug lord in Uruguay. Now the fucking Russians are involved. All right? Somebody called the Kremlin. See what's going on. In Uruguay, police and Interpol detained two Russians who are suspected of masterminding the runaway of Italian mafia Rocco Morabito. Law enforcement agencies searched the restaurant in Montevideo as part of a search for the fugitive. Two owners of the establishment, one of whom is a citizen of the Russian Federation, were detained. One employee of the restaurant, a Russian woman, is also arrested. The Russian embassy in Uruguay is aware of the situation and is now trying to clarify the details. Yeah, we're going to need some clarification. The Russian embassy in Uruguay is, a, is aware of the uh, Italian mafia. I don't know why they say mafia. Italian mafioso Rocco Morabito, one of the bosses of the Calabrian mafia, the Nageta, and three other prisoners fled from the Uruguay prison in late June. Morabito was to be deported to Italy at the request of the authorities. He is accused of drug trafficking. Okay, they label this guy the cocaine king of Brazil. Morabito is considered the most wanted member of the Calabrian Mafia da Drangheta. He has been hiding from arrest for more than 20 years and was arrested in Uruguay only in 2017. Since then, he's been waiting for extradition to Italy. It is believed that Drangheta controls up to 80% of drug trafficking in the European Union. Salute again to my boy Shattered. Now, you know, we talked about this, okay? And now they think the Russians were involved in helping him escape. All right, salute. Thank you again, Shattered, for the article. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and if you could throw us a donation, please don't hesitate. One.